Hey all and welcome to our documentation video on font styles management in Flex Themes. Uh, you will find this video inside a series of videos and articles on fonts and colors, uh, which you'll see here in your uh, left side uh, menu. There are a lot of articles going over how to edit font styles, how to create new ones, um, and these all are going into detail as well as how to add custom fonts, Google fonts, how to back up your style and restore and a font upload security restrictions. So I would recommend really to go over this in detail um, before you start um, implementing fonts and colors. In this video though, specifically, I will touch upon some of these aspects, but um, specifically I will dive in to how to manage fonts um, inside your flex blocks since these are a bit different than uh, whenever you're doing that inside of WordPress blocks. So we'll go inside Lyra as our dashboard. As an example, this will be true for all of the Flex themes. So um, I'm just using Lyra as an example for this video only. Inside Flow Themes 10 uh, style tab, we'll find all of the uh, all of the areas related to typography. In how to's, you'll find some of those videos that you can find as well in the documentation specifically. You'll find the color scheme that is set for Lyra. You, we have the same for the Avroflex themes. So um, you have two schemes of color, scheme one and scheme two, and some of the blogs fully take on the scheme one colors and the others take on scheme two color. Um, so this means that the colors are consistent across the side um, and this is done specifically to keep that um, more kind of a style guide across and to make it um, aligned visually rather than making a mess in terms of colors and typography for that matter. In terms of typography, you'll find a whole list of titles, subtitles, headings, um, and different styles for this. Um, like for example, for title one, you have four different versions of, um, of style. Title one, large, medium, small, extra small, this means you have the opportunity to choose which style works best for a specific section without being limited that it's too big of a, of a font or too small for your particular content or for a particular section where you want to present yourself. So here as well, you'll find Google Fonts option, how to add those and custom fonts. This is all um, covered inside our articles. And finally, the advanced tab, uh, something that I would recommend to use in case you want to play around with fonts and you're not really sure if that will work out, uh, just to back up your current setup. That, this means whenever you change anything, you can always restore that or reset the styles. Um, either that is the original theme styles or something that you had um, already um, used and are just trying to update and are not sure that that's a good one. Uh, you can always restore back to your original styles. So um, that being said, uh, knowing that we have certain typography set up here, um, certain, knowing that we have colors, let's see how this is all pulled inside our flex blog. So I'll go inside a page and find a flex blog um, on homepage A, which has a lot of text. And I'll show you how this is pulled in. So here I'll just double click on our um, text. Notice that we have the typography tab here with the following options. We have the theme options for paragraph style. We have a drop down with all of our styles that are set up in our typography tab. These are not reflected as size, just written out, but whenever you change them, you can see right away the sizing that is used and um, change that up based on your needs and based on the content that you're gonna have. So of course, um, the one thing here is that you're not able to change the sizing of the style, since that pulls the setting that is set up in the dashboard in Flow Themes tab. What you can do here though, is uh, change uh, through using the custom tab. So I'll just switch through. And here we have several Google fonts that you can switch between. And also you have all the families of the fonts set up in our typography tab. That means you can take uh, the font that you want to use and maybe just tweak it. Um, so you can change the styles here for, uh, for sizing. 
and can change the line height uh, and achieve the uh, the view that you need if uh, the view that currently is in the theme setup is different and if it's something specific for this section uh, and you don't want to make changes across the whole style of that specific font so you have all of the options to make these changes here uh, if you need to. One other cool thing with the custom tab specifically is that you can choose a phrase or a word or or a sentence, just select it and um, change it for accent, for example. That's not something that you can do for theme, but for custom tab, you can definitely achieve that if you are, um, you know, if you're interested to do, um, to play with words a bit and to highlight certain ones in your, um, in your paragraph. So that is for typography. Um, what is important is that whenever you update your styles in the uh, for themes tab, um, all of those families will also appear in custom uh, tab over here. Um, so we, you cannot add new families here just because the amount of families on the on the side will load it respectively. So uh, we try to limit um, this to make sure that the site is working fast. Okay, and that's uh, that's pretty much it in terms of the typography. So let's go back to our theme option for paragraph style. Um, and another thing that it does pull here whenever you have colors, so I'll just double click the font, um, the button here. Again, we have um, font options for the button, and then we have color options for the button. And, and you'll notice if I go in and double click here or click here, I'll have the option to pick the color. But again, we have the scheme colors below that are set to make sure that everything is consistent visually across the site and you can pick from those uh, scheme colors. You have also names or titles for each color, what is used for and what is recommended to be used for. So button background default we can use from scheme 2 that button background default um, and then make changes for example to our hover text color um, currently it's set to uh, scheme one text color we can change it to scheme two so these are again schemes of colors that are set in our flow themes tab pulled here for your convenience to choose from a set style that will be consistent across the site so you can make changes from that or you can pick a different color from the color picker. Again, not something that we recommend if you want to keep the consistency across um, the site visually. So that's pretty much it in terms of fonts and how these are used and pulled in FlexBlock specifically. If you go ahead and make changes to your style of, um, of themes um, fonts, you will need to uh, basically make the changes, for example, uh, update those, and then if you want to use that style in your blocks, you will need to go back to your blocks, um, select those again, or just double check and save them to make sure that the style is pulled with this new updated style. So because these are not synced right away. So that's just one note for you to know. Other than that, um, make sure to check all of the articles on fonts. Um, these are should be straightforward to, uh, to use and to follow. And if you have any questions at all, make sure to connect with us and we'll be more than happy to assist you. Thanks, bye.